Hello guys, uh, we'll just make a short video on uh, the camera configuration and uh, how we can stream on local network and how we can stream on Seortaya VPN. I will use Mission Planner and I will also use the standalone GStreamer application. I will show both of them. So without further ado, let's uh, begin. The first thing we need to do is access the camera page and select the PCAM. I have a Raspberry Pi and I have a PCAM connected. I also have a PicSock, uh, but that's, uh, we're not going to test this that one in this video. Um, PCAM UDP we will not use camera flip and we will use HD resolution and the bitrate and uh, frames per second will be default values. And then we need to add a destination. I will uh, just add in my laptop here. Laptop and my laptop has address of 10.00.131. And then we will just uh, hit the video button. Let's see if we get a green light there. Yeah, that's good. You can also go to this log file here. If you have any issues with starting the camera, you can open this log file. And uh, if you see any errors here, just uh, you can copy this text and paste it in a new thread on the forum or in Discord channel, and uh, we will uh, assist you. But this seems fine. This text here is just fine. This is normal. And uh, we have green light in the video, then start the mission planner. The thing is that uh, if you stream on port 5600, uh, the mission planner will show video in the HUD by default. So let's see if this is working. Mission planner. It should uh, come up here really soon. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, this is my Pixoc. Uh, blinking red. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Uh, if the video is not working, then something is wrong with your configuration. You don't need to access this menu. This is for different kind of stuff. Um, the video will show up automatically if you have selected uh, port 5600 and you have selected UDP and um, then the video will come up automatic automatically yeah this frames this video seems fine um, so uh, yeah let's try share tire and stream to VPN and see how that goes um, just stop video for now we will uh, access the VPN page press yes and then we will select the zero tire we will access my zero tile account and hit the networks tab and my network copy the ID paste it in here connect we should have a 200 status okay join okay that's fine then in the zero tire interface, it should uh, show up here. I tested just four minutes four minutes ago just to verify it was working. So it should say online really soon here. It could take some time before it recognizes it, but usually not that long. Let's see. Yeah, it will show up here soon. We will also. Um, connect uh, my laptop to this account. Uh, I have already downloaded Zero Tire. So just open the application and we will join my network here. Done. And we have to approve the connection, yes. And show network. If, um, if you see the window like this is totally empty, then just quit the application and start it again. This is a bug in Zerotire, the Zerotire app. So show config, yeah, there we go. And we are connected. 
that's fine. And now we have online status on the Raspberry Pi. We should also have online on my computer. I don't know which of these are my computer. We will see. But it should uh, say online really soon. Let's see. Could take some time. But anyway, we will try to access the UAV cast web interface using that address. Yeah, that is working. So we are connected with my laptop as well, but it doesn't say online yet. It will pop up really soon. This is my UAV cast web interface. Let's use the dog team. I like that. So now, what we have to do is uh, access the camera page and yeah, the settings is fine. We're not going to change anything here. Go to the ground control station. What we will do, we'll change this local address with the zero tire, with the zero tire address for my laptop. Yeah, it's not showing up here. That's strange, but this is my address. It's 9920. We'll copy that one. Ah, there you go. There you come. Desktop. Actually, that is my laptop computer. Yeah, so we'll copy that address for my laptop and add it in here. And then we will restart the video. We should have a green light there soon. Yeah. Now, let's open Mission Planner. And the video should show up the same, yeah? There you go. And we have the same picture. I cannot see any difference. But there is a, a catch here. Uh, sometimes if you use, uh, if you connect, um, with zero tire VPN over a cellular network. Let's say I had a modem in my computer and you had a modem in the Raspberry Pi. Um, then sometimes the, the, the image could be uh, pixelated and uh, not very clear. So for those that have that issue, um, run GStreamer application, a standalone GStream application on your desktop that will improve the image uh, or the video quality dramatically. So I will show you uh, how you can start the GStreamer on your desktop on using a standalone application. Uh, yeah, so um, this is working fine. Uh, we will just close the mission planner. What we will do, we will access the docs page of the UAV cast. Go to the camera settings and if you scroll down, you will see you have Windows solution one and two. We will use the solution two. And for that one, we will download uh, the GStreamer uh, for Windows. I have already installed this one, so I will just uh, cancel it. Uh, what is important here to say is that when you start the installation, uh, the GStreamer application installation, remember to choose the complete installation. So you, you install everything because there are some plugins there that needs to be installed for this to work. So remember, just select complete install. When you have installed that one, um, you can um, open a terminal and you can access the GStreamer uh, folder like this and access the bin folder and inside here in the bin folder here is all the the, applic the application files that we can start so starting gstreamer you can copy this this line here and paste it in it already has this port 5600 um, uh, in here so it should be uh, just straightforward start it and hopefully we should have a video running let's see yeah there we go 
So here we have a video on uh, using the standalone uh, GStream application. Uh, we don't have the HUD interface. That's the that's the drawback. Um, yeah. Uh, another thing to say here is that uh, you can also, instead of using this uh, command prompt, and uh, if you think that is a hard way to do it, I have also added a startup help files for Windows. Uh, if you just press here, you can uh, download this help file. It's just a command uh, script. It should basically do the same thing what what I just did here, but uh, instead of doing that from command shell, you can just do that from a command file. Uh, so if you want to edit it, you can just right click it and edit, and um, the Windows will say, "Hey, are you sure? Yes, we are sure." And then um, in here. Uh, if you run on another port, just change this port. But uh, also, if you have uh, installed G Streamer on another location, you can change the location here. But this is the default setting, so it should uh, it should work uh, straight away. Just double click it, and you should have video. Yeah, that's good. All right. I think that's all for this video and we'll probably make another one for the TCP also as well. So yeah, see you later. Enjoy. Bye bye.